Hello channel viewers, this is uh, Mike coming at you again. I've got a little mini review of a uh, battery backup that I'm going to use on my Katy Lake 2017 build. Um, this is a battery backup that I've used before. This one in particular has a little bit more uh, volt amps associated with it, but it's the CyberPower 1500VA 900 watt UPS and it's charging right now um, typically in the past uh, what battery backup suppliers have done is ship their battery backups with the positive cable removed from the battery and you'd have to open up the case plug in the positive battery terminal and then it would be charged up or have a little bit of charge so you, can, you could get started with with this one uh, you don't have to get inside the case at all um, there's a little sticker on top that, that tells you what the procedure is and that is to plug it into AC power and um, charge it for eight hours because it ships with no charge at all and uh, then you can use it after eight hours in fact it won't even come on um, when I press the power button, I was able to film the LCD panel, so I've got, I've got a picture of that. Um, but right now, the display should be blank. Um, so let's take a look at the back of the... Uh, battery backup or UPS uninterruptible power supply there's 12 outlets here on the back um, all of them provide surge suppression with a uh, joule rating of 1500 uh, joule surge energy rating uh, how much energy the surge protector can absorb before it fails is what that describes a uh, higher number in the joule rating indicates greater protection. Uh, I live in Florida, uh, uh, Central Florida in particular, and we are the lightning capital of the world, so there's no amount of surge suppression that can protect you from the kind of lightning we get. But it's a first line of defense, just in case. Uh, like I said, there's 12 outlets on the battery backup. Um, all of it provides surge. Only one side is on the battery though. Um, they provide uh, an outlet for a large converter to be plugged in and then five additional on the battery side. And these are simply just an extension of say like a strip outlet which is much better built but essentially that's what it is. A um, little bit of confusion uh, out on the internet about what you can plug into these things. Uh, you absolutely cannot plug in a laser printer. Uh, several things could happen. You could start a fire. Uh, you could uh, burn out the circuitry and the battery backup. And the reason is, is when you first power on a laser printer, um, the heating element in there has to heat up quickly and it draws a lot of amperage from the wall in order to do that. So uh, don't ever plug a printer into a, a laser printer into a UPS. I don't even plug regular printers into UPS. There's no reason to have them on battery backup. If my power fails, I'll just reprint. So in addition to the outlets on the back of the UPS, uh, we also have a Type-B USB connection. I think that's Type-B. Uh, it's the square looking one, not the flat rectangular. And that connection is made to your computer where you'll use CyberPower's software to monitor test the UPS and during a failure, an extended failure, after say 30 minutes of, of battery backup, this unit will send a command to the software to shut your computer down so you come in for a soft landing on a power outage rather than have your computer just power off all of a sudden, which is uh, very, very bad. And for this particular build, um, we've made quite an investment on the hardware, so we wanted to protect it with a UPS that had the software for the soft landing power outages. So I love that feature about this. 
Um, there's also connections for coax and ethernet. I don't use either one of those, never have, never will. I have tested this in the past and there's enough resistance in this circuitry to either slow down your internet on the coax side, on the WAN side of the internet, or slow down your internet on the ethernet side of the WAN connection coming out of your modem. So I don't like using either one of these. Uh, there's also a um, circuit breaker release if for some reason the inside of this trips and bypasses everything, you can hit this reset button and that will uh, get you back up and running. So um, I really like this particular brand of battery backup, the uh, CyberPower. Uh, I know a lot of people like APC, uh, good for uh, commercial use. Um, in my experience, uh, uh, providing backup for a on-site phone system, um, four or five hundred dollar piece of equipment so that the phones can stay up and running for several hours during an outage. Um, I think you're you're paying for that ability. I think when your power goes out, when you're using your computer, a 30 minute heads up before you have to power down is plenty of time for consumers. Obviously in a business environment, I would choose another type of solution, but for a home home computer system, this is just perfect. I think we paid uh, $129 for this. There's a lot cheaper ones out there, but because of the power requirements on the, the computer that we're building, um, a pretty high-end computer, we want to have uh, much more lead time in the power down uh, for, uh, for an outage. So that's why I like uh, cyber power. And that is the CyberPower 900 watt UPS.